Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> Hope your five senses work. Your know, strength is good. What? Now, okay, 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 Steam Deck fans. Okay, Valve. Check this out. Your Half-Life fans are getting really impatient. They're going to break your record. Okay? They're going to rub you out. <laughs> remember that? Uh, remember the uh, Looney Tunes cartoon, uh, Doug Tracy, when, Dak, when when Daffy Doug was playing uh, Dick Tracy, <laughs> and then he ran into that villain, and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna rub you out." That's what the Half Life fans are gonna do. They're gonna break your record and rub you out. <laughs> Look, Val, we already know you can't count to three. <laughs> you know, you've been stuck at two for the longest. So yeah, they're going to break your record. Listen to this. Half-Life players are planning to break break a Steam world record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Says here, Half-Life players are honoring Valve's first-person classic, first-person shooter classic FPS, by breaking the Steam world record, Steam record for concurrent users in a follow-up to Half-Life 2, breaking the bar. Okay. All right. Says here. Half Life Half Life Three isn't happening. I meant I mean it might be, but that is what I have I have to tell myself now in order to move on. At the same time, I continue taking solace in the vibrant Half Life fan community, which keeps tuning in amazing speed speed runs and discoveries about the game AI and mechanics. Now. Now, in honor of Valve's iconic 1998 first-person shooter, 1998, let's see, hmm, okay, tw about 20-some years ago, anyway, says here, the Half-Life fans are planning to take to Steam to set an all-new world record, and everyone's invited, mm hmm but this is because they want Half-Life 3, they're getting impatient, <laughs> anyway, says here, on August 14, 2022, at exact 3 p.m. GMT, the Half-Life community mobilized by YouTuber Radiation Hazard and <laughs> and not 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 click not click will log into Steam in in masses and open up their copies of Half-Life. The object is to beat the game all-time Steam DB record. For concurrent play, playing users, which currently stands at around 6,000. Okay, it's a very achievable goal, especially considering that in 2022, as part of an event called Breaking the Bar, the same the same Half Life community managed to get 16,000 people playing Half Life 2 all at the same time smashing the previous record and planting a flag for enduring the popularity of the sci-fi shooter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fans, man. Anyway, says if you want to take part, the rules are simple. First, make sure you, you're you playing a vanilla copy of the original Half-Life. No Half-Life source, opposing force, blue shift, black mesa, or any other mods or expanded version of the FPS. Uh, second, you have to play for at least 30 minutes, otherwise your presence won't register on Steam database. Mm. And then it says here, you can share the share your participation and spread the word spread the word using the hashtag. Remember Freeman <laughs> and various uh, prominent Half-Life YouTuber will be streaming the game on the day as well. You can find more information in that in video from Radiation Hazard below. And it says here, uh, so that it pull pull out your uh, crowbar, mic micro microwave, your uh, casseroles. And get ready to remind the world that even if it never come back, come, even if it's never coming back, we're we're, <laughs> we're all still we all still love Half Life. <laughs> and that's the end of the article. So 
So yeah. These these Half Life players, man, Half Life fans, you know, um, they they really love the game, and they're trying to break the uh, break break break, uh, break break Steam's uh, record, which they plan on doing. So, hope a lot of people turn up for that. But the thing about that event too, um, they have to make a day. They got to make that day. They can't they can't let nothing interfere on that day. So. All they gotta do is all meet together at the at the location and then then go on from there, you know. So and then ha and then have fun doing it, you know, and then go on from there. But this is this the reason to me the reason they're doing this is because they love the game Half Life and they're trying to let Valve know that they really want a Half Life Three. So <laughs> you know uh, they're just trying to. Uh, you know, um, desperate time call for desperate measures, so they're just trying to do something to keep the game alive, you know. But I, th in in my opinion, in my opinion, here, here's what I here's what I really think that was what's happening here, what's really happening. I think Valve is working on a Half Life Three, but they just not saying anything. You know, so many so many NDAs were signed, non disclosure agreement, and um. You know that that work that no word of Half Life, no leaks, nothing can ever get out. And I think they're really working on it. You know that's but that's just me. I think they really are. I think they're gonna surprise. They're gonna surprise the community with it. And um, they probably and probably they are they're, they're also working on a left probably a new Left for Dead. You know everything. The thing about the gaming industry is this. When it comes to vi video games, you know. It's all. It, it starts with a thought, an idea, and then the concept, and then chat, chat, talking about it, and then people like meeting, and then okay, telling everybody like, okay, you can't say this, you can't leak nothing out about this, you got to sign this, blah 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 blah. You, um, you can't you can't leak out anything, and then like they're like built, they're like trying to get, they're trying to develop develop a uh, like a vision. A vision for the game, you know, an idea, a concept, a story, the character. They're trying to figure out, okay, where do we pick up? Where do where do where do Half Life Three uh, take uh, pick up from? You know, where does it take? Where, where does it start from? You know, you know, is, is there is there like a scene in Half Life Two that they that they uh, that that they start from and then and then go from then go from there? But everything it all it all comes down to an idea, you know. And like little 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 chatter here and there, little notes here and there, but all that but all that chatter they're doing is they're just building the story while they're just talking about it, bringing the ideas you know together. And once they bring it all together, then the game can be made. But to me, I think they're they're for me, I think they're really uh they're really making a Half Life three. When they plan on releasing this thing, we don't know. But I mean, I'm pretty sure like at least some of the employees at Valve are just sitting there. They're, they're just working. They're, they're they're thinking about it. The question is, will they do it? You know, so um, we we will see. But now that they got the Steam Deck, Steam Deck, uh, the Steam Deck, Steam Deck on the market, and they have the uh, they they're working on the, the they're working on the dock. And then there's the Steam Deck 2 that they're supposedly working on. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it make sense to release the Steam Deck 2 with Half-Life 3? Wouldn't it make sense? I mean, think of it. You know, wouldn't it make sense to re release the Steam Deck 2 with Half-Life Half -Life 3? And um, let's say Left 4 Dead 2 all on the same day. <laughs> if, that, if that happens... PC gamers will lose their minds. <laughs> you know, so only time will tell, man. But Valve is working on something. That's for sure. Whatever it is, it's coming. Could it could it be Half-Life 3? Only time will tell, man. Only time will tell. But as far as this Half-Life uh, event going, this was this was the light of, light of fire on the Valve's... Uh, Lighter fire under Valve to let the fan, the fans is letting Valve know that they're hungry 
that they want a new game and they they love the first they 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 love this they love the series so much they need a third game so I think um to me I think Valve is working on it look there was an article I was covering on the Steam Deck too um when the, when the news first broke and then Valve says uh in, in the article it says uh Gabe Newell says he's holding this to his chest that means he's not letting no information leak out about the the Steam Deck too so if that's the case then then the same could be said about Half-Life 3 everybody holding it to their heart like we're not let, we're not letting nothing out we don't we don't know anything about a Half-Life 3 we don't know we don't know nothing <laughs> like uh like uh like uh, Sheldon off of uh, what was a Big Bang Theory <laughs> what he say he said uh and I know nothing about this conversation absolutely <laughs> absolutely nothing so to me Valve is like they're working on something but they they are holding it to their hearts not to leak nothing out and I think that's what they're doing so when the time comes I think they will reveal it but right now everything is all like zip your lip don't say a word keep your word don't mention anything but you know you know until the, until we until until we are ready to like uh, release this game it's kind of like with uh, uh, Bethesda with Starfield when they were working on the game based on the articles that I read one of them was uh, they were saying they didn't let nothing out they were working on the game but they didn't let they didn't feel like talking about nothing until the Xbox Bethesda showcase so yeah um, I think that's how Valve is like really approaching this you know they're keeping the Steam Deck 2 specs to, to their hearts they're not gonna say nothing Half-Life 3 ideas concepts uh, 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 vision all that is all into play but when, when are they making this game? Only time will tell, but you know, time time tells everything. So, um, and um, we we will know. We will definitely know. But we shall see, man. When that when the time comes, you know. But I, I think it would make sense if you're gonna make a Steam Deck two. You would you would release Half Life. You would release a Steam Deck two with Half Life three. On the very same day so you know look I think I also think probably you know they, they probably were working on Half-Life 3 for like what since what since since the since the start of the uh, since the start since the since since they finished Half-Life 2 I thought this this just me talking I got a feeling that they were like probably working on Half-Life 3 right then and there when they started two they probably said okay we're not gonna make three we're gonna make we're gonna make the public think okay we're not making a half-life three and and time and and all this time went by and I think they did this you know just to, just to like to work on the game so they can have some like uh, some peace of mind so to speak so they can really develop this game and take half-life to the next level but that but that's just me it's kind of like what uh, I would say uh, Rocksteady is doing with Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. They went dark. I haven't heard anything from them in in weeks. So I'm like, okay, in 2023 they they'll probably come out with probably probably like the beginning of 2023. They'll come out. They'll they'll, they'll probably start talking about it. But for 2022, they're not saying nothing. They're just working on the game, and that's that's how I feel. Valve is approaching our Half-Life, uh, Half-Life Three, because there's, because there's too many leaks, too many people are quick to leak stuff, and it's not time to leak stuff yet. So, I personally believe that they are working on Half-Life Three, but the question now comes now, when are they going to release this game? And, and like I said before, uh, wouldn't 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 it make make sense? to release Half-Life 3 with the Steam Deck 2 on the same deck. But that's just me. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinion. But um I as far as Half-Life 3 goes, I think they're working on it. 
but it, it's just so many, so many uh, NDAs that's been signed. You know, so many NDAs and so many, uh, you know, uh, contracts that's been probably signed. Like, don't say a word, keep your word, stuff like that. But I think only only time will tell. Time tells everything when it comes to this half life, the whole half life three. But as far as them getting together, breaking this record, uh, they, 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 they'll, they'll do it. They'll do it. But this, but the re to me, the reason they're doing this is to motivate Valve in making Half Life Three. But I think Valve is already working on it. You know, they're just not saying anything. So we will see when the time comes. But they, you know, they know that um, they know they know the fans. Um, they know the fans need a Half Life Three. They know. They know. They're they're listening to all the chatter and all the all the all, all the talks about a Half Life Three. So they, they know. So only a matter of time before they they come to the light. You, you ever heard the saying, "Whatever is done in the dark will come to the light." So uh, I think they're in dark mode right now. But give it time. It'll Half Life Three will show up one of these days. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dark Side. Um, go. Peace.